Hey, what's up, everyone? It's Mr. Crucial here at my test world, and I've been messing with the redstone ore and a bud switch. Basically, it creates motion detection. So, what I've wired it up to here is double doors. Basically, when you walk over the detection area, the doors should open. <laughs> They're usually a lot more responsive than that. And you can see that the ore is actually glowing. When it stops glowing, the doors will automatically close on their own as well. So, they're really easy to build. We'll go ahead and build it. Basically, we're going to use the old bud switch. The old bud switch again. Let's get that out. Just, I'm going to build it quick. Because I've went over it quite a bit in a few of my other videos. So you haven't seen those videos just follow along <laughs> like this and here's the bud switch in Robotocost I've been messing with this thing all morning coming up with some pretty uh, pretty crazy designs alright so that's the bud switch now we're gonna hook up our little detection plate this is what's gonna detect you basically when it's glowing it activates the unit we want to switch the unit to a signal rather than a pulse we do that by adding some delay on this repeater okay mm so let's make the doorway you want to extend it out a little bit just so it's a little bit easier on yourself so the wires don't interfere down below but you get your little doors crappening Stick them on the rock here. And how did I hook those ones up? Right. You're going to get some stone. <laughs> stone like this. Like this. And more like this. And we're going to do some vertical wiring going up to them. Torches. One of them, one, one side has to be inverted opposite than the other one for some freaking reason just does so one side gets a torch on the top one doesn't like that and we basically hook this unit up to both doors so that's the bud switch hooked up to your double doors you can see here that it's playing opposite day you can easily switch uh, the opposite problem by sticking a block on the side of the bud switch and now when the ore is out the doors will be closed when you walk over it they will open so that's your fancy door you can case it in make it look a little bit better because that looks pretty haggard um, now you can add some features I went ahead and added uh, override button or whatever you want to call it basically where I can manually turn it on or off so grab a lever and I know you guys know I like to use indicator torches so this is also going to have an indicator torch telling you if the motion detection is on or off um, let me see here Okay, so one wire is going to go into the torch, and one wire is going to come from the lever. Now I believe I don't have the signal inverted, so we're going to do the repeater trick. That will bring us upwards. If we want the uh, torch to be the opposite, instead of using a repeater here, we would just use a redstone torch to invert the signal. But we're going to keep it the same value by doing one of those. Now break off the side of it. Test to make sure it still works. It does. And we want the power source from this line here to go into this line. But we don't want it see how it's bending straight into it. We don't want to mess that up. We want to still make it bend straight. But as long as we can get power from this line to this line, we're golden with one torch in between so it's inverted the way I've done it is a little bit uncommon it's like this 
Um, you normally don't do something like this stupid, but I did with this situation, and I wrap around the back. <laughs> wrap it around the back. Just so it doesn't interfere with this line bending here, because you want the bud switch to break off this line straight. And if it breaks it off and keeps the line straight in this angle, it's just going to interfere with your mechanism. So that's it. This is the override button. Let me see. The unit is off or the unit is on, meaning the motion detection should be working. But when I flipped it to opposite, it flipped itself back around, so I'm going to readjust that by replacing one of the blocks on the face of the bud switch. Not this one, because that's going to break the bud switch. This face or this one will reset the unit for you. Plenty of options. If you want the door to open really quickly, just re reduce the uh, tick display or whatever the fuck I'm talking about. The delay. <laughs> and it'll make it just a quick pulse, you see? <laughs> you can change that just by adding some delay here. And it'll stay open until the ore is actually done. Which is uh, better. You can pretty much place one of these bud units on both sides of the door and have an XOR XNOR gate in between hooking up to the doors if you want to get real fancy sensor on both sides but it works perfect with this configuration considering it waits for the redstone to die down so gives you more than enough time to get through the door pretty sweet eh? pretty friggin sweet give me some ideas to do with the motion detector guys rate, comment, and subscribe peace